Irene's Pub is a friendly local neighborhood bar. We've been here for 30 years. We're an event space, we're an art gallery, we're a live music venue, we're a coffee shop, you name it. Our focus on live music sort of started uh, in 2000s. The focus was to present local live music just about every night of the week. We host a uh, folk evening on Sunday nights. Uh, we do a ragtime show Saturday afternoons for our brunch show. Uh, you might catch a, a rock and roll show on Friday, maybe a punk show on Saturday. I think this space is important for smaller sort of up and coming artists, whether it's you know a beginner at an open mic or sort of that mid-level artist that wants to present themselves to a smaller audience, you know, somewhere between 100 and 130 people. I think without our size of venue, we'll lose a generation of music. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a space for people to cut their teeth and to get a start. Well, I was fortunate enough to move into an ownership role about two years ago, and uh, one of my big focuses was to improve the experience of the customer, improve the experience of the musician, and uh, just overall provide an excellent space to take in live music. The Tourism Relief Fund gave me the opportunity to accomplish what I wanted to in the next 10 years this year. Uh, through their funding, we were able to upgrade our lighting system. We were able to bring in a brand new state-of-the-art mixing console, upgrade our speakers, upgrade our mics, really just, I mean, from top to bottom, upgrade the whole audio-visual system. I think pubs like ours contribute to the heartbeat of the city. Ottawa is a vibrant place with lots and lots to offer, and it's through the help of the Tourism Relief Fund that we're able to continue to provide an excellent experience. Whoa, whoa.